In this video, we're going to talk about the cost approach to appraising. Sometimes you may see this written out as the cost depreciation approach or cost minus depreciation approach. It's all the same thing. Remember, in order to calculate this, what we do is we take the reproduction cost of the building, subtract out any depreciation, and add back in the land value to estimate what the value of that property is today. This is typically used on special purpose properties where comps are not available and where there's no income available to appraise using the income approach. Let's take a look at a question here. It says, you are appraising a five-year-old single-family residence. The total living square footage is 2,700 square feet, and the garage is 1,000 square feet. Cost estimating services based construction costs per square foot of livable area at $72 per foot and $40 for the garage. The question here is calculate the reproduction cost of the structure. In this case, you're not asked to do anything with depreciation, so don't worry about how old the building is. All you need to do is to figure out the reproduction cost. In order to do this, we know that there are 2,700 square feet of living area times $72, which we're told in the question is the cost to reproduce that. If we multiply that, then the cost for the living area to reproduce it today would be 194,400. We know that there is a 1,000 square foot garage and it is $40 a foot to reproduce that. So 1,000 times 40 would be $40,000. If we add those two together, the reproduction cost on this property today is $234,400. Now I started off saying you usually use this on a special purpose property. Why would you use it on a single family home? In this case, the appraiser may be using all of the approaches that are available to them, or the appraiser may be using it because there simply are no comparable properties available. Let's go one step further to another question. This one says, calculate the reproduction cost of the following property using the cost depreciation approach to value. They've told you the lot size is 200 by 100, land value is $50 per square foot, dimensions of the structure 100 by 125, cost per square foot estimated at $250, age of the building is seven years, and the economic life is 60 years. Now let's take a look back at what they're actually asking you to do. The question asks you to calculate the reproduction cost of the following property. Well, in order to calculate the reproduction cost, we need to know the dimensions of the structure and we need to know the cost per square foot, but we don't care how big the lot is. We don't care what the land value is. We don't care how old the building is, and we don't care what the economic life is. These are all things that may be used to calculate the overall value of the building using cost and depreciation and land, but for this question, you don't need it. So let's go through and do the math. Very simply, the structure is 100 by 125. Multiply that, and then multiply by $250 per square foot, and the cost to reproduce this building is $3,125,000. Again, when it comes to an exam, whether it's your class exam or a state exam, you've got to be efficient with your time. There's no use you running through and using all these numbers to calculate something when the answer or the question that you asked is really very simple and the answer is very quick to determine. Let's go a little further. In the previous problem, what is the depreciated value of the building? Now, We've got to use a little more of the information in the question in order to answer this question. Well, we know that the reproduction cost was $3,125,000. We just calculated that. We know that the building has an economic life of 60 years and that its actual age is seven. In other words, it's seven years old, but it's expected to last 60 years. If we take the $3,125,000, divide by 60, would give us the amount of depreciation per year times seven years, since that's how old the building is, we'll find that the total depreciation as of this point is $364,583. Let's take it one step further. If we take the reproduction cost at $3,125,000, subtract the depreciation, then the depreciated value will be $2,760,417. Let's go one step further. Joe purchased a building valued at 295,000 with an estimated 25 year useful life. Joe owns the building for six years and the question says using straight line depreciation, find the depreciated value of the building today. Same concept, we figure out the reproduction cost, subtract any depreciation, 
that will give us the building value. The cost in this case, he paid 295, so it's 295,000. The building is six years old, so if we take the 295 divided by 25, which would give us the depreciation for each year. We multiply it times six, since the building is six years old, and the depreciation is $70,800. Therefore, the depreciated value of the building today would be $224,200. Again, on these questions, I've, I've warned you about this on several videos, but I'll say it again. Make sure when you're answering a question that you're actually answering the question that you're being asked. In this case, they could have asked you the reproduction cost. They could have asked you the total depreciation, but they didn't. They asked you what the building value is at the end of this six years, which is a question that you had to answer.